hi welcome back to my um story hour time i'm going to be reading Junie b jones and some sneaky peeky spine chapter two here's the cover just in case you forgot to chapter two. Here's chapter two. Chapter two questions. <coughs> Sorry. Chapter two questions. Me and my bestest friend Lucille sit at my same table together. My table is where I sit up straight and do my work and don't talk to my neighbor. Except for I, I keep on forgetting that part. I wonder where Miss lives. I whispered to Lucille real quiet. Shh, so Lucille, we can't talk or else we'll get in trouble. And anyway, you're not allowed to know where she lives, because it's a secret. Says who? I ask. Says my brother, that's who, and he's in third grade. And he says teachers have to keep their houses a secret, or else kids might go there and throw out a tomato. I did a huffy at her. Yeah, only I don't want to throw out a tomato, Lucille. I explained. I just want to hide in her hamper in that ball. I don't care, she said. You're still not allowed. Because my brother said so. And he knows more than you do. So there. I made an angry face at her. So there is not a nice word, Lucille, I said. Then I made a fist at her. Except for Mrs. Sun. And, and so I had one folder. Then, after that, I behaved myself very good. I sat up real straight, and I did all my work. Work is when you use your brain in a pencil. Only sometimes I accidentally use the eraser too hard and make a big and make a big hole and a big hole rubs in my paper. Hey, I did it beautifully today. I called out. Cause guess what? No hole. That's what. Mrs. came to my table and she put a gold star on my work. You did do beautifully, Junie B. She said. Maybe I'll hang this one on the wall for grandparents' day on, mother, on, on Monday. Would you like that? Yes, I said. Only I keep on forgetting how come those guys are coming to this place. Then Mrs. explained to me all about grandparents' day again. She said our grandparents are coming to, to a, for a visit, and we get to show them room nine, and also we get to have freshmen's together. Mrs. Mrs. said freshmen's are cookies and a beverage. I raised my hand. Yeah, only I don't think I'm allowed to have a kind of drink named a beverage because I'm only allowed to have milk and juice and that's all. Mrs. looked up to the ceiling with her eyes. Then I looked up there too, but I didn't see anything. How many of you think you could bring cookies on Monday? She asked Mrs. I can, I can, I hollered very excited because my mother is the bestest cookie baker in the whole world. That's why Except for one time she accidentally forgot they were in the oven and the fireman had to come to our house. Mrs. laughed. I don't, I, only I don't know why, because that's not a funny story. After that, she gave me a note from Mother. And it's, it had some writing about baking cookies, I think. If your mother has any questions, please tell her to call me, said Mrs. Then I got a very great idea. Hey, maybe me and Mother can bring cookies to your house. And so then I can see where you live. Mrs. Rumpelmeyer, you don't have to come to my house, Junie B. Just bring the cookies to school on Monday morning. I smiled very sweet. Yeah, only I still want to see where you live, I said. Then Mrs. turned around and she walked back to her desk. That's so come on and follow her. Do you have a rich kind of house or the regular kind of house? I asked her. Because I just have the regular kind of house. Except her mother wants the rich kind. Or well, Daddy says, lots of luck. Mrs. pointed at my chair. That means sit down, I think. Yeah, only, do you have a, a daddy that that lives in your house, too? Are, they, are there any pictures of him in, in, your, in your wallet? Let's, let's, let's take a look in there, okay? Do you have a secret compartment? And here's a picture. In it, 
because my Grandpa Miller has one of those things with 50 bucks in it. Only don't tell Grandpa. Mrs. took my hand. Then me, then me and her walked back to my table. Yeah, only guess what? I'm wondering now. Now I'm wondering what your bedtime is. Because my bedtime is when the little hand is on the seven and the big hand is on the six. I only hate that dumb, stupid bedtime. Because I'm not even tired yet, of course. Mrs. Butterfinger up, her, up, her, up, her, up to her lips. That's enough, Judy, she said. I mean it. I want you to settle down now. Then she went right back to the front of the room. And she didn't answer any of my questions. Because guess what? Mrs. is a secret mystery guy. That's why. And that's Shepard Kelly.